Hello everyone, welcome to the semicolon. And in this tutorial, we're going to do a live sentiment analysis on Donald Trump. So what you're seeing on your screen is a live sentiment analysis of what people are tweeting about Donald Trump. So the green one represents positive sentiment, the black, uh, red one represents negative sentiment, and blue is the overall sentiment. So as you can see, the axis is from minus 20 to 20, and this is against time. And uh, how we're going to do it? That is what we are going to learn in this tutorial. So let's get started. Uh, so what you're going to need is the Twitter API. And uh, you just have to type pip install tweepy on your anaconda. And that is how you get tweepy. And uh, then you'll have to import these three things from tweepy. And before that, you'll have to sign up on Twitter developer so that you could get these four keys. So signing up on Twitter developer is easy. Just search uh, Twitter developer and uh, then just uh, fill up the form. Then you get the these four keys. Fill it as a string. I didn't want to reveal my keys because it's really private. So that is why I didn't. You can, uh, it's best if you don't reveal it to people and uh, fill up the keys, that's it. So next what happens is you'll have to pass, you'll have to call these two functions, o auth handler and set of access token. So, and pass these keys with this. So take a good look of this, you'll have to write these functions and then uh, start streaming with this function and this count is some variable which you want to pass. Uh, any variable, if you want to pass it to the listener, you can create it. So what I wanted to do was check for count and if count was uh, 200, I wanted to stop it. And that is why I passed count. You can make it go on forever by not passing anything and uh, manually stop it. And uh, then you'll have to pass obviously what you want to track. So I wanted to track Donald Trump because uh, his tweets are really frequent. And then we have to fill up this function. So this function is, uh, th you'll find this function on the Tweepy documentation. So how we get the data here is the all data. So on data, whenever this listener gets the data, it gives in the form of JSON. So it gives it in the form of this data. So how we do it now uh, is we import JSON here. We import JSON and read out the JSON file. We have to decode the JSON file to get our data. And the tweet is present in this. So in all data, the matrix has this as text and uh, tweet is present as text. There are other features as well, like username, which we don't need for now. And the time, I'm calculating time. So before the function starts, I'm initializing time. And whenever, this, whenever I get a tweet, then this function is executed and I calculate time by subtracting the current time minus when I started it. So I get a time and then I round it off to integer. So to plot and then here the tweet we get is very dirty. The It, ha it contains lots of URLs, smileys, emoticons and uh, so many things. So what we want to do is just have the alphabets so that we can get at least clear English out of it. And that is what our uh, sentiment analyzer can detect. Next, for sentiment analysis, you need text blob library. So import text blob. Next, what you do is uh, text blob and pass the tweet here. So in text blob, when you pass a tweet, you get a text blob variable, which you can use for sentiment analysis by just typing 
uh, I'll show you what it is. Uh, for now, uh, it the sentiment analysis gives us two variables, so positive, negative. We can find out the compound by adding positive and negative, and the count is for stopping. And I've initialized the sentiment zero because a sentence, a tweet might have two sentences, and what text blob does is calculates sentiment for each sentence. So I want to average it out. So what I do here is for sen in blob dot sentences. That means we are iterating through each sentence in the uh, in the list. And I'm calculating the sentiment for it and adding to this senti variable. And if the po polarity, if the sentiment is positive, I'm adding it to the positive variable. And if it is negative, I'm adding it to the negative variable. And this is global. So we are taking cumulative sentiment analysis. And compound is the total sentiment again. Next, what we do is just print this. So you can look at the example. This is in a kind of different language and that is why just because of this word fake it is minus 0.4 and something like this the deep state and executive dan are dangerous so because this tweet has dangerous hmm, maybe made to answer for their action something like that that's why it's minus 3 and the overall sentiment is kind of negative and uh, one more thing is that the analyzer doesn't understand sarcasm so there are many tweets which go into positive but are actually negative mm, like that. So there can be nothing done about it because humans can detect sarcasm that perfectly. How can we expect a machine to do it? Okay, then uh, what we do, we now have positive and negative variables and the compound variables. So what we do is we want to plot it. So uh, just a little bit of revision here, we are authenticating it calling the stream function and the listener waits for the Twitter API to send tweets and whenever we get tweet the on data function is called and the data is stored in the form of JSON in this all data file. Okay, we are calculating time in middle just to plot. Now coming to the part where matplotlib is used. So uh, I set my axis to be from 0 to 70 and minus 20 to 20 on y axis, 0 to 70 on x axis. x label is time, y label is sentiment, and I plot. And you need this because the plot function accepts lists and not the normal variables. And uh, G0, GO is green for green circle, RO is for red circle, and BO is for blue circle. And that is how we plot. And uh, you have to add this plot.ion because we need uh, interactive plot and uh, when the tweet goes 0 when the tweet crosses 200 we return it and don't forget to type plot.show because it won't show the plot then and then you can pause it because you'll need to see and you don't want continuous plots as well so this makes our sentiment analyzer complete when you execute it uh, it runs and this is and on error this is important to handle errors that's it guys so uh, this this is how we make our sentiment analyzer and uh, it does a pretty well job you can use it for uh, uh, any live event like sports a Manchester United match anything uh, just places with streams the Twitter stream is a bit regular so if you like this, if this helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys. Keep watching.